Have you heard of being clutter blind? Well, that's basically when you're so used to your clutter that you don't really notice it's there. And that's what's been happening with me. I've got a flat surface that keeps getting stuff piled on it and also a storage spot that's just not working. But after decluttering the drink station, you definitely notice how cluttered this area is in contrast. So I've come up with a plan that I think will solve a few problems. One of them being that this printer station isn't all that sturdy and I really can't get these out very well. Ugh, can't even get it back in that well either. So I think that's gotta go. So I've got a plan to just move all this out of here and replace it with something that functions better. First of all, the dog food container over here, because it is kind of a larger flat surface, has collected my kids' ink pads. So I kind of want a different place to corral those extra art supplies. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you have seen me declutter this art drawer down here. But one of the themes that I keep coming back to in my decluttering journey and that I've shared with you on this channel are systems that we can maintain. Now, I can maintain a drawer like that, but my daughter keeps getting into it and it's just a mess. It's not working for me. So I wanted to apply the art caddy idea that has been working so well where my daughter can just take stuff out and put it on the table and when she's done, she can put the whole container back and she maintains that really well. So I thought an art cart would be a great solution. So I hopped on Amazon and I bought a cart that I had to assemble. And let me tell you, I would have much preferred to have one pre-assembled, but I was determined that I could do it and I finally did. So I did read a ton of reviews on the differing art carts, like should you use Ikea, should you use these other brands, and even watch some comparison videos. And I just landed on this one because of price and also because the shape of the tiers with the sharper corners, you don't lose as much space as some of the rounder corners. So I will link it in the description box below. I'm happy with it and it rolls really well it seems very sturdy but if you can get your husband to assemble it for you by all means outsource your labor back over here what I'm going to do is download this junk get it cleared out and try to keep the look more minimal I've got a damp duster and I'm just gonna clear all this off but well, what do you know I've got a candle hiding up there I don't need that up there that's for sure that was probably hiding out because it's a Christmas scent I just noticed some cobwebs. Oi. There we go. Much better. Now down here. I've definitely got some dust going on too. I'm going to relocate my printer for time being. I'm going to relocate this lovely collection of everything. Now right here we had a water spill and it bubbled the paint. So I think I'm going to really quick cover that with some pretty contact paper. I ordered this from Amazon as well. Roll this baby out of here. Ooh, that yucky stuff down there. Where's my broom? That dark color. I think contact paper is one of those things. Every time I think I'm just gonna do something really quick, it's gonna be really easy. It's more complicated. I always have to unpeel and restick. We'll see how this goes. Call that good enough for now and keep going. So you might recognize this from my master bedroom declutter. My husband moved it all the way to the basement for me but then I said actually I think I need it up here. So one of the shelves broke. I wasn't able to fix it so I just kind of smashed it out of there and I think I'm actually gonna take out another shelf as well but then I've got some more craft storage. I can put the printer on top of here. I might even cover this with some more of that. I love how contact paper can quickly update or even transform something. Once, I even used it on a yucky bathroom floor that a landlord wouldn't fix. So as you can see, these are not that sturdy. I was gonna save it, but yeah, it is a little wobbly, but that's the way it's gonna be. So now what I'm going to do is transfer some of this dog food into this cereal container. Now I do buy my dog food at Costco, so this will be downstairs in the freezer room and it will help keep critters out of the extra uh, when I unload the bag. Got more junk to sweep up. I think I need like a, like a magazine holder there to hold the paper. I don't know if you can tell, but these are actually magazine racks. They're nice sturdy wooden ones from, I think, Burlington Coat Factory. And I've turned them on their side and mounted them on the wall 
to be like shelves as you can see. But if you just need a budget-friendly, customizable magazine rack, you can actually make one yourself so quickly with just a cereal box. So I took a check cereal box and just trimmed it down and I covered it in some matching contact paper so that it looks like a piece of wood. I think it looks nice. It's not the sturdiest, but because of this extra up here, it's just gonna slide in there and hold up pretty good. That way I don't waste space storing it horizontally. And I'm gonna stick my printer up there right now. So if I need to refill my paper, it's just simple to pull it out right here. But because I do have my dog station, I've got my dog food and water and this container of dog food here, I kind of want to put my other dog supplies here. So the top drawer of this wire storage is where I had Cody's extra supplies. My daughter likes to brush his hair. I've got his trimmer in here and some like dog walking supplies. So, so I'm just gonna put that in one of these bins from the Dollar Tree so that it can slide in and out. I think that'll work really well. And then I'll just stick his walking stuff right here. That'll be really easy to reach in and take him for a walk. Any of his extra supplies, like his fur trimmers, which you might have seen in the dog trimming video that I did, or my closet declutter, I'll put in the basket up in that closet. Aren't these cute? This says referee and official vacuum cleaner. I got these for him from Five Below. Love that place. So what I've got in here are just a bunch of washi tapes and some folders. So I think I'm gonna try to incorporate that in one of these stacker areas or in my art cart. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of washi tape um, that a friend gave me. You can't really see it in here. So I'm just gonna see what they look like dumped into here because I think you can sort through it if it's longer a little bit better. I found this pretty basket at the Dollar Tree. Well, I think that's plenty. Don't need any more than that. And I'm actually gonna stick this in my art cart. Well, daylight's gone, kids are in bed, and I've still got more decluttering to do, so I'm gonna keep going. But first I was gonna show you what I'm going to toss. It's generally hard for me to part with things that I think still work, but I am going to part with this little doggy scarf because I don't put it on Cody. He just strips over it and we don't use it that much anyways. This is a part to an old kennel that we don't have anymore. This is an old leash that we've replaced. I probably haven't used it in an entire year and yet I'm still hanging on to it. So I'm gonna get rid of that too. All right, so even though I like the idea of the pullout handle and this fits perfectly in there, I don't really like the aesthetic of it. So I'm actually gonna switch it out for something that matches better. But I don't actually have another basket and I'm kind of impatient to get this done. So what I'm going to do, just like I made a magazine holder, I'm going to take an old mailbox that I've cut open and put handles in and turn it into a pullout basket. And by using this, it'll coordinate and I think look really nice. And I'm actually not going to contact paper the whole thing, just around the front. That's the part you see anyways. almost free storage box. It's pretty cute and it's gonna hold up decently well for the purpose I have intended for it. And honestly, it probably took me less time than a shopping trip to a store. So now I'm just gonna transfer that doggy stuff into here. I think these are called gladiolas. If there's something different, write in the comments below. But this just bloomed out by my mailbox and with all the rain it fell over, so I decided to bring it in and I'm glad I did. I think it's gonna be a great accent for over here in the corner until I need to replace it with something else for my garden. I'm going to put my diffuser here. And I think I'll put this plant maybe here. And this I think is actually probably too tall up there. So I'm not gonna put it back up. I'll leave it here by the coffee station and stick this plant over here. I love the purple underneath these leaves. I think I'm gonna put our photo books back up here. And I don't know what I'm gonna stick inside these shelves just yet. So I'm gonna move down to this stacker here. This one's empty. Not sure what I'll put in it yet. Okay, this will look good over here. It travels around a lot because I love it so much. I just kind of like to feature it in different places. I got that from Big Lots. It was kind of a splurge at $6, but I love it so much. For the most part, on my journey towards minimalism, I am giving up knickknacks. Besides, I don't really like dusting. But because this is a fairly simple piece of decor, that is one of the pieces along with my plants that I do display. This is my old sketch diary thing from ages ago, and here is a sketch I did in 2003 of my brother and myself. I guess I really like drawing people. They're very challenging. On to the art cart. So I was going to put these down here in the middle, and I also got a bunch of these little pencil boxes. I envisioned maybe going like this. So maybe it's just these that are in the way. We'll stick the stamping stuff in here. This is easier to go in and out. I'll actually transfer that to the bottom. 
It would be easier to access these if my kids were painting, so we'll just put the paints up here. I'm gonna get all these loaded up there. Now I'm going to take a look in this drawer, see what I can get rid of, and only put back the art stuff that is for me personally, that I don't want my kids to get into, paints that I'm not willing to share, so that they've got their own essentially unrestricted colors that I'm not currently using for an art project. I think it'd be much easier to keep inventory that way. So, these are old kids' painting clothes, they don't fit, we'll toss those. Let's see, painting rags, we'll stick in here, really hard clay. So all of these are paints from the painting set things that we've gotten, either a kit with one of these cute little sun catchers in it, or those gnomes that my kids painted for my friend's garden. In my upcycle bench video, if you watched that, yeah, there is still some paint in these, but to be honest, I get really frustrated having to pop all these open. They flip over and we just have so many of them. Some of them are dried out, so they never have just one of these out. They have a bunch of them out, so normally I'd be afraid to waste anything, but we obviously have enough over here. I am going to toss these out because I really think it'll reduce my frustration and make this look a lot nicer. Which, by the way, if you want a good starter kit of some basic acrylic colors, there's a pack of 16 on Amazon. I'll link below. I just ordered them to restock the colors for myself, so I'll put that link in the description box below. So a little behind the scenes fact behind my YouTube filming is that I actually have to turn off the house air so that it doesn't mess up with the sound quality since I'm only filming with my iPhone. Consequently, I am roasting right now. It's really hot in here. Can't wait to turn the air back on. But even more than that, I can't wait to have the space less cluttered and more functional. Like I said, I think it's gonna work really well for my kids to be able to just pull this up to the table while they're painting and then slide it right back. Instead of just shoving stuff into that drawer and it looking horrible with stuff falling out half the time and me not being able to find a thing in there that I need. As you can see, the bin system does not work for my daughter. I've lost count of how many times I've had to sort through these bins. Again, I've got the stamping stuff and glitter down in there. I've got the chalk and future painting project down there beading and washi tape. And then I've got all of our beautiful paint colors in there. Some painting projects and art smock. Do I think that my kids can maintain that? I do think so because it's all sectioned in pretty similar things. So let's move that to where it's in I like it. Well, I hope you're enjoying these decluttering sessions with me. Even though they're small spaces, they really make a big impact in how I'm feeling around my house. And I just want to encourage you, if you've got a lot of clutter around your house, I was completely overwhelmed several years ago before I started my minimalism journey and just taking it drawer by drawer, bit by bit, you can really make a big difference in your home. And as you can see, I'm still decluttering. I just took a couple van loads of stuff to donate recently because it just seems like with time and practice, I'm able to let go of more things hopefully not bringing too much in. My goal is to encourage you to live more intentionally and creatively, and decluttering is one way to reduce that feeling of overwhelm that keeps us from being creative, because I can certainly tell you that my creativity has gone way up since I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. Would you please do me a big favor and click that thumbs up button? It helps other people to see my videos, it helps my channel to grow, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because I aim to post a new video every Friday and if you want to make sure you don't miss it, hit that notification bell too. So if you still want to declutter with me or maybe you're curious to see what things were like before, you can go back to my older videos or if you're a plant lover like me, you can go check out my gardening videos or YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you subscribers. So if you're new or old to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. I'll see you in the next one.